Okay guys, welcome to another video and in this video we'll be talking about how to enable the multi-user mode in the Zenfone 5 and Zenfone 6. So all Zenfone 5 and 6 models are supported and as you know, uh, the Lollipop, you know, the multi-user mode is enabled in Lollipop but it has been hidden and disabled by ASUS for some reason. So to do this, all we have to download is a small toolkit which is, you know, just a few megabytes in size or kilobytes maybe. So it's very easy to install. All you need to do is download this toolkit, the link for which will be down in the description below. Remember, I am not the original maker of this toolkit. The link for this toolkit is for, from someone else and the original blogger can be found in that link below. Click there to visit his blog. So there is a password in this zip file and the password will be down below in the description. So go check the description for the password, okay? So you might have to go through an ad before going to the download page and again it is enabled by the original blogger who provided this tool so it's not mine so I'm not benefiting from the ad or anything okay so after you have downloaded the toolkit all you need to do is you know connect your USB cable to your PC and your phone and of course you need to have root so if you haven't rooted your phone yet there is a link for that and you can click over there for the video on how to root your Zenfone. So when you are done with that, you know, just click on install. Okay, and you know, another window will open up. Go and click yes. There you go. Okay, so there we have two different modes as to enable and disable the multi-user mode. So I'll just press one and hit enter. Okay. So it started. So you might get super user requests, so keep check checking your phone. Okay, so we are on our way. Okay, so it's unlocked. Okay, so we can press any key to continue. We will hit enter and there you go. So if you want to disable it, again, you follow the same steps. You know, connect your phone to your PC and hit 2 and hit enter. And you will be, the, use the multiple user mode will be disabled. Okay, so then we will reboot our phone and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, okay, so now that the phone is finally rebooted, you can go over to the settings menu and there you will have the new users option. Okay, so we will just tap and hold and as you can see we can add user, we can add a guest mode, etc. Now according to the original provider of this tool, he says that you cannot do, you know, change user from the home screen due to some issues with the, you know, the issues with the ROM. So to exchange, you know, users, all you have to do is either change it from the home screen as you can see the new logo over there or you can change it directly from the settings menu. So thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this tool please support the original developer in the link for which will be down below in the description. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.